Let's continue to create our cam setup. In the previous video, what we did was we set some custom view orientations, but the view orientations are just for the user. They really don't mean anything to the machine tool. What we need to do now is specify a work coordinate system or WCS, and we'll get that aligned up onto our part in the way that the machine would like it to be. So to do that, I've switched to the cam workspace, and I'm gonna to go to the setup tab, and on the setup, panel, I'm going to click on new setup. We're going to leave the operation type as milling. And the thing we're going to be concerned about right now is the, is the orientation options. If we look, there's going to be model orientation, select Z axis, select Z axis and Y axis, select the X and Y axis and select coordinate system. The first four options, are the one that you're going to use most commonly, in my opinion, the final one is a little bit more advanced option and it doesn't currently work in Fusion 360. If you select it, you're gonna get a warning saying, uh, please use one of the different options for now. So let's use the select Z axis plane and X axis. So what that means is we can either click on a face to set our Z axis or we can click on some kind of an edge in our model. We wanna take this triad and we want the Z to face up, we want the X to face to the right, and we want the Y to face away from us. So a couple options we have, we can either click on this face or we can click on this edge. So let's go ahead and click on that edge and now you're gonna see that the Z is in the right direction, but the Y and the X are in the wrong directions. So let's go ahead and choose our X axis and we just need to pick some kind of an edge in our model that goes the direction that we want it to go or we could use one of the faces in the model as well that are perpendicular to the direction we want the arrow to face. So I'll go ahead and click on this edge. And now you can see the triad is pretty close to what we want. The Z is up, and the X is in the, the correct axis, but it's pointed the wrong way, and so is the Y. So a couple ways we can fix that. We can choose the button to flip the X axis, and when we do, there's our triad, and it's pointed exactly the way we want it to point. Uh, our other option we could do if we want to do this graphically is just to click on the head of the arrow. When I do that, you'll see that it flips the axis. So th this will work with any of the axes on our part. I could do it for the Z axis as well. But now we're in the... Uh, looks like I made a wrong selection there, so I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And um, it jumped to the Y axis orientation. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that for our Y, and then we'll flip the head. So there we are, we have our, our Z up, our Y paint pointing away, and our X pointing to the right, exactly where we want it to be. So those are some of the different options you have for placing the triad. Now, if you didn't want to use that dialog box at all, you don't have to. We'll go ahead and we'll click on Setup again. And you'll notice that the arrows are broken into two, two parts. The first part, the stem will set the, will align it to an axis or a face, and then as you know, the second part will flip the direction of it. So if we wanted to align the Z axis to a face of the part, we can click on that stem and then click on the face. And now you can see we have our Z pointing in the right direction. So for this, I could click on the stem and I could click on that face. Now we've got the the two things lined up the way that we want them to be. So you can click on those stems and you can either align them with axes or perpendicular to the face that you're clicking on. So in this case, that's the orientation for the WCS that we want.